everyone, it's Sydney with River Wranglers and today we're going to be doing a quick test. Uh, it kind of shows us how sunscreen works and how it, sunscreen protects us from the rays of the sun. And you also get to make a pretty interesting piece of art out of it. So it's a fun little trick to do, especially on sunny days. Right now at the moment there is a cloud covering the sun, but I promise it was sunny all day before I was filming this, so luckily I do have an example that I already made earlier today. All you're going to need for this project is some sunscreen. Any SPF will work, but the higher is probably better for this experiment. So I got 45, um, which is kind of a mid-range SPF. and. Another thing you're going to need is a piece of construction paper. Any color will do. You just want to be able to see how it fades, which you're not going to be able to see until after. So the first thing we're going to want to do is take our sunscreen. Sorry guys, a bug just flew in my face. Um, so you take your sunscreen and you put a little bit on your finger. And then you can draw on your piece of paper with it. So I'm going to draw just a little smiley face and you can make it as thick as you want to with the sunscreen or use as little sunscreen as you want I'm sorry if you guys are hearing all the birds chirping I don't control the birds sadly so right here I just made a little Smiley face, you guys can make any design you want with the sunscreen. It's simple finger painting, so you guys can do anything you want. You can write your name out. Literally, possibilities are endless. Then you're going to want to go find a place in the sun to set this. I was setting it on that shelf, the wire shelf with the driftwood pieces on it earlier today. So that the driftwood pieces held it in place it's in the sun, and it wasn't this one. This is what I made earlier. Because of the ingredients in this sunscreen, you're not getting, um, there is still a little bit of white where the sunscreen was, but in certain sunscreens you won't have that little white residue left behind. And I'm trying really hard for you to see it because now the sun decided to come back out and play. But um, you can see how the sun faded, the sunlight today faded the rest of the paper but not where the sunscreen is and it also didn't fade up here and that's because that's where a piece of driftwood um, was actually holding the paper in place so that the wind wouldn't take it away. What's fun about this project is that you guys can leave your, your paper with the sunscreen on it out for as long as you want. The longer you leave it out in the sun the more you're going to notice your shapes pop up and the fading of the rest of the paper. You guys can also use this to experiment with different types of sunscreen. You guys can track different brands or just different types like the lotion compared to the spray kind of sunscreen that they have out. Um, and it's also, you guys can use this to just make quick little pieces of art and it's almost, it can be seen as so magical how those little artworks show up. So it's a fun thing to do outside, um, plus it, if you're going to put on sunscreen anyway and get it all over your fingers, you might as well make a little art with it in the meantime. So that's the quick activity for this week. Next week, probably be a little more intense of an activity, but for now, this is it. And please remember to subscribe and like the video down below. I'm sorry that I keep shaking the table, which the camera is resting on. Um, but subscribe, like down below. If you guys have an idea for any other activities, comment those down below as well. And we will see you on Monday. We, River Rangers, will see you on Monday with a new video. And I'll see you next Friday with another activity video. And that's all. Bye.